Welcome, honored guests, to the land of TMS. I am the Busybody Baroness, and this is part two of our comment video. So let's get started because we have quite a few, and I want to get through as many as I can. I appreciate you guys so much. Lakeisha Lay is going to start us off. Welcome, Lakeisha. Your name doesn't look familiar. Thank you for commenting. She says, I have three questions. Question number one, how does Carly forget a whole conversation that she had with Nina after talking to Ava about a custody battle that Nina never knew about? Carly is the one that flew off the handle with Nina after Nina called. Called, couldn't get one word in. Carly flew off the handle to about Wiley and then turned around and asked the woman, do you hear me? Do I make myself clear? Nina replies, yes, Carly, you make yourself perfectly clear, but remember you made your bed, now lie. Lie in it alone. That's not saying so it should have gave Carly a clue. Question number two, how does Felicia give birth to two children without knowing? Yes, part Nail and Esme is clearly sisters unless they're just trying to give Mac and Felicia some kids. Or could they just have been Helen Webbers and Ryan's? Are they both crazy? Question number three, why do the writers think Nina is stupid? She knew she was pregnant when she went into the coma after her mom put her put her there. She was already pregnant because she was awake and asked for her daughter. So I'm quite sure her sonogram will have told her if she was pregnant with twins. So please stop lying like Nell is her like Nell is hers when Willow is obviously her only child. Nell isn't anything like Nina or Silas or either Silas crazy brother Caleb. Morgan the vampire Oh yeah, LOL. Nell is more like Heather Weber, and so is Esme, but if you're going to give them to good parents, such as, uh, such as, oh, Max and, Mac and Felicia, go right ahead, but I think you'll, you should think about Lucy Cole missing daughters, don't forget about that. Um, we did, I did forget that Lucy had a daughter missing, I mean, it could turn out that maybe Esme's Lucy's missing daughter, and that's gonna be the twist that they throw at us, that's a good catch, Lakeisha, good job, um, as far as Carly and Nina and Sunny, yeah, the phone call, Nina, I mean, Carly didn't let Nina get in the word edgewise, but she still kind of was bold for what she did, keeping him away, and I think they do. I think they just want to give Mac and Felicia children because that's why they keep talking about it. They did a whole couple of episodes about that. Carol Cuff says, yes, I would love for them to bring Julian back. I love his character. I would love also for them to bring back Robin and her husband. I miss them both. Yeah, they, um, I know Patrick, the, you know, our Patrick, he's on another soap. I wish they would bring them back for a little while. That would be nice. Victoria says, oh, let me make sure I get your whole name in. Victoria Likens. Thank you so much for commenting, Victoria. Victoria says, Sam was on Loving. She is boring. I do remember her on Loving. I think I remember her on Loving the most. I just couldn't remember what story her and Finn was on when they were those vampires. Her storyline is going to get better, um, Victoria. Don't worry. Victoria again says, Jordan and Curtis are still married. The papers never got uh, filed. They sure didn't, thanks to Aunt Stella falling out at Kelly's expense. Uh, camera had to pick her up. And that's going to come out as well once him and, I suppose, when him and Portia go to file their papers, right, it would come out. Kimberly Young says, I want Ava's brother back too. Yeah, it would be nice if they could bring Julian back for support. Helen Carter says, what's the email address to send ours to? Oh, my email address? Well, what it is is that twice a month, so I already did the drawing for um, the Hulu giveaway. So when I call your name, um, I just need you to send your email to my email. I'm going to do it again probably in a couple of weeks. DeHavlin Kenshin says, yes, I... I can't, hold on. I guess she means, yes, I can see Curtis and Selena Wu would make a wonderful couple. I want Joss and Dex together. I want Spencer and Trina together. Crazy Nell, she's coming back. When is the cat fight going to happen between Crazy Nina and Carly? Um, Don't know about when the cat fight is going to happen. Should happen soon. Um, I forgot. Jeez, it was in the comments that Nina thinks that uh, Willow is having an affair with TJ. So I think she's going to say something or do something to set Carly off before she goes. Um, and yeah, Curtis and Selena would be a good story. And Spencer and Trina at this point, after seeing them together at the hospital, it was really cute. I wouldn't mind seeing them together. Vicky Austin says Sam and Dante are boring. Sam has always been better alone or best with Jason. It takes too much energy for Sam to constantly prop and reassure Dante 
that he makes her happy for the 60th anniversary of GH in 2023. I would like to see just Sam reunited. They were the best. Um... I really don't know if they're going to give us a Jason, a new Jason, or try to bring back the old Jason. I don't know. I think Sam, we did say we would like to see Sam by herself for a little while because we feel like she's best by herself, too. Hey, Lisa. Lisa says Maurice is still playing Dark Sunny. He's just He just bounces back and forth. Yeah, he does. I'm noticing that, too, between Mike and Sunny. Nina is mad because Carly is not letting Nina get under her skin. I can only think Das or Jax for Dex and Joss. It was back when Ryan had abducted Felicia and somehow, she, there she, there it is. Thanks, Lisa. She had amnesia after she was either released or escaped. Nicholas is a man-child. Him going in Ava's hospital room in the ICU and telling her he didn't, it didn't have to come to this. I guess he thinks Victor stabbed Ava. Nicholas is trying to get an alibi by giving Elizabeth an alibi. We'll never find out who did it if we're waiting for Jordan to find the hook. <laughs> somebody's gonna figure it out you know everybody's gonna go off on their own investigating you got um mac and felicia on the scene you know sam and dante are on the scene so it's not we don't have to just depend on jordan it's a lot of people involved and yeah i do know that sonny is because when he gets involved with like nicholas or talks to selena Wu, his attitude does change so he is kind of going back and forth stephanie clark says sam and finn were on loving, oh, I'm sorry, yours repeated, but yeah, um, they were on loving years ago. Robin Anthony says Nina will uh will deserve the mess that's coming to you. Lose them like you got them. Brenda and Sonny were a hot couple back in the day. I also agree, a new woman, anything to give Nina her come up is yeah. I really would like for them to bring somebody in to shake up Sonny and Nina's relationship, other than Carly. You know, Stephanie Clark Castro says Joss and Dex Jed. Oh, that's funny. I like that one. And Cameron can be with Emma while Spencer and Rory fight for Trina. I agree. I want them to bring Emma back. Stephanie again says um, Joss and Dex can also be Jax. So let's just put in the comments, guys. Which would, would you rather have Jax or Jed or something like that? Let me know. Um, Susan Garby. Hello, Susan. Welcome to the comments. She says Drew needs to shave. You know, I think they're trying to give Drew like this rugged look or something. I don't know. I do notice he's getting like that shadow. Nana Place. Hey, Nana Place. I haven't seen you in the comments in a while. Do you think Nicholas is using Elizabeth as an alibi? Yes. Wait a minute. Did I just hear Anna the lawful tell Valentine he could finally put Victor to rest? Yes, because I'm thinking and we all said Nana maybe alex is anna you know we think maybe she switched places again or something alice turner says carly needs some time for herself i like that she doesn't want to jump into anything yet i'm sorry j jump into yet another relationship seems like she's finally trying to do some things right yeah except tell the truth about willow's mom and i hope they don't drag out that drew thing with her Alice Turner says, I'm warming up to Spencer. He's not seeming to be so arrogant. Now, no, he, they brought him down a peg, didn't he? He's really trying. He seems to be humbling himself quite a bit. Alice says, I, like I always said, Carly is living rent-free. And he just says, she sure is. She really is. It's weird how obsessed she is with her. Barbara says, Joss and Dex are going to be fire. Yeah, it's going to be a good one. Bring Emma back. For Cameron, Carly lives rent-free in Nina's head. Bring a new woman on for Sonny. Maybe Nina and Curtis will get together. Ugh. I think they kind of tried that a little bit. They kind of flirted, and that didn't work out. Um, Curtis, Nina and Curtis will get together for a minute. She'll need a rebound when she and Sonny split up. They used to flirt with each other. Yeah, when they first met. Right. I mean, unless they put him with Selena. I'd rather see him with Selena. Hey, Sandy. Sandy Moon says, no, 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 Barbara. Oh, okay. So this is the response. So the girls are talking. So um, Sandy is responding to Barbara's last comment about Joss and Dex. Sandy says, no, 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 Barbara. Please don't wish Nina on Curtis. He has had enough hurt and heartaches. Nina and Victor will be evil and eviline. Nina and Valentine need to get back together. And Barbara's responding back to Sandy saying, don't worry, I doubt the writers will go there. I used to like the chemistry between Curtis and actress Michelle Stafford when she played Nina. Yeah, the original Nina, yeah. Sandy again says, at Barbara, yes, Michelle Stafford was great and had great chemistry with Curtis. I could see them together, but this Nina just can't do it. Michelle played crazy. Nina, who did evil things, but always with a little humor sprinkled in. Yeah, she was very funny. Lakeisha Lay. Hello, Lakeisha Lay. I love the way GH is headed now, but Nina and Sonny should just be a fling until they get Brenda back on the show because I think Brenda belongs with Sonny more than with anyone we know 
that she had to leave to raise her son. And then I cut you off. I'm sorry. Um, yeah, I don't think Nina and Sunny are going to last that long, honestly, guys. I think they are going to bring somebody in to shake them up. Like I said, they can't continue to depend on Carly constantly. All right, I'm going to go ahead and end this video there with Lakeisha Lay. Thank you very much. Get out another one for you guys. Like I said, we have a lot of comments, and I want to get them read and discussed. Let me know in the comments, do you like Jax, Jed, for uh, Joss and Dex? And I'll catch you in a minute, Jen.